or you can say best big screen and powerful phones under 25,000 Indian rupees. Now each phone has one or the other unique factor such as one may have the fast charge like nothing else in this price range while other may have based of a camera while other phone has a gorgeous display. No matter which one you end up picking up from this list you will be delighted and happy with the purchase then. Starting off the list the first smartphone is the newly launched Poco X2. This has 8GB 256GB variant and costs like 20,999 rupees. That's a whopping amount of RAM and storage for the price. It has a beautiful display 6.67 inches full HD plus display with 120Hz refresh rate. You heard that right, POCO X2. Of course, it may not have the specs like uh, when POCO F1 was actually released, but still it holds its own value and it's kind of a unique device if you're looking for something unique in terms of performance or even in terms of the way the interface has been designed for the POCO phones. All right, so 120 Hz refresh rate LCD display with 500 nits brightness. Again, here the brightness of the display is really good for the price. Nothing comes in close with within this price range. So that's just insane, I can say it really helps you if you are especially using it outdoors often. It features a fast Snapdragon 730G chipset, has a 4500 mAh battery with 27 watts in-box fast charging. If you look at the camera department, it doesn't disappoint at all with 64 megapixel main camera, 2 megapixel macro, 8 megapixel ultra wide, and there is super night mode as well. So if you love taking selfies, then this has a dual selfie setup with 20 megapixel plus 2 megapixel depth sensor. The only problem however I found uh, was the weight so it weighs over 200 grams at around 208 grams yeah 208 grams exactly and uh, one more thing is it has hybrid slot meaning you will have to sacrifice one sim for the micro SD card expansion like if you uh, if you think of using SD card then you will have to remove one sim there Moving on, the second phone in the list is the latest from Realme, it's Realme 6 Pro. So costs about like 17,999 for uh, I think 6GB, 64GB variant. It has a dual SIM plus micro SD cards dedicated slot. So that's a plus point here. So you are getting 6GB, 64GB variant for the price. It features a huge 6.6 .6 inches full HD plus 90Hz refresh rate LCD display with 480 nits. The second brightest phone uh, within this price range, 480 nits of brightness, that's impressive too. So it has slightly slower chipset as compared to the POCO X2, the Snapdragon 720G, but has a very fast charge uh, support with 4300 mAh battery capacity and the camera department covers it all with a quad camera setup 64 megapixel primary camera 12 megapixel long focus camera with 20x digital zoom uh, kind of gimmicky but still there is an option to actually zoom into the image and take a picture which always comes in handy at uh, many times i guess so there is also 2 megapixel macro camera and 8 megapixel wide camera so for selfies it has a 16 megapixel plus 8 megapixel setup which is quite impressive Okay, so if you are looking for Samsung brand alternative, Samsung brand mobile, here Samsung A51 that's actually doing well with the sales despite the tough competitions from other brands. It features a beautiful 6.4 inches super AMOLED display, 6GB, 128GB variant costs around 23,900 rupees. So it also supports dual SIM plus dedicated SD card slot. It has Exynos 9611 chipset. Now you might be thinking not a Snapdragon variant, but still Exynos does pretty good job especially in this mid-range department. So the camera quality is also excellent with 48 megapixel primary camera, 12 megapixel ultra wide setup. There is also 5 megapixel macro and 5 megapixel depth sensor. They have covered it all. While the resolution may look a little less than the competition, but still the image quality is great at this price point. The negatives here can be just 4000 milliampere or battery and the age old 15 watts fast charging. Like I said, you have a little bit of pluses and minuses or rather pros and cons in each and every phone that you buy. So there is nothing really a perfect phone setup but still based on your requirements you can just go ahead and buy any of these moving on another mobile from samsung here i had to include this one costs around 24,299, but still worth the price 6 gb 128 gb variant it has a dual sim plus sd card support so it has a gorgeous and huge display that 6.7 inches full hd plus super amoled screen comes with 25 watts fast charging 4500 milliampere hour battery superb camera setup as well 32 megapixel that too at f 1.7 aperture so that's a plus here 8 megapixel ultra wide camera there is also 5 megapixel depth sensor for selfies it has a whopping 32 megapixel as well 
So only negative here is the slightly slower chipset which is the Snapdragon 675 but still it should get the job done fast enough. Alright guys the next phone is the obvious one can't miss this one right so it's the Xiaomi's Redmi Note 9 Pro or you can look at the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max which is actually available on Amazon costs like 16,994 6GB 128GB variant features Snapdragon 720G huge 6.67 inches full HD plus LCD screen has a whopping 5020 mAh battery, 18 watts fast charging, features a 48 megapixel primary camera, 8 megapixel wide camera, 5 megapixel cam macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Yeah, that's it. And 13 megapixel selfie camera too. So the problem here is with the hybrid slot again and the mere 18 watts fast charging but the pricing is very competitive too.